Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great this morning on our prayer request today. And I want to say, I mention this every now and then, it's always in the description. But uh, all prayer requests will be said for a week. I don't know why my coloring, tending's doing that. Uh, all prayer requests will be said for a week. If you need additional prayers after that time, let me know. Okay? All right, today... Um, Colleen has an unspoken request and uh, Lisa needs prayer that her daughter would soften her heart towards her and change her mind about seeing her granddaughter okay um, Eshem would like us to pray for her Ferdinand's house fell apart and he's living under a banana tree pray he gets help for a new house Cherise was in the hospital for six months and had colon surgery, so she has an ostomy now. Pray that she won't have any more problems and that she'll be okay. YC's brother Larry was in a car accident and hurt his wrist and back. Pray he will be okay and recover quickly. Eli is one year old and has been in the hospital the whole time except for two weeks spent at home. Pray for healing so that he can be at home. Um, they left a teddy bear with Steph that had her grandchild's heartbeat recorded on it and she woke up the next day it's it's a miracle and she's still in rough shape but she's awake and that's what we were asking for for her we were asking for a miracle um, continue to pray for Steffi she has pain in her legs and feet and her lymphedema is in a bad flare-up too um, continued prayers for Michael and Danielle Continued prayers for Katie and her son Michael, and continued prayers for Jackie for the pain in her side. Okay. Oops. I didn't put the, my marker back in. All right. Well, this, I've used this bookmark so much, it's, uh, See how it is up here? It's about to break off. I love this, uh, though. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and I pray that you being rooted and established in love. Ephesians 3.17. I love that. Okay. And our scripture of the day today is Philippians 4. 14 through 20. 4, 14 through 20. Yet it was good of you to share in my troubles. Moreover, as you uh, Philippians know, in the early days of your acquaintance with the gospel, when I set out from Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving, except you only. For even when I was in Thessalonica, Lonica, you sent me aid more than once when I was in need. Now that I desire your gifts, what I desire is that more be credited to your account. I have received full payment and have more than enough. I am amply supplied. Now that I have received from Epaphroditus the gifts you sent, they are a fragrant offering, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, Serving Together in Jesus. Rescue workers cooperated to help three men stranded on an island in Micronesia. Teamwork was necessary because a widespread health crisis required them to limit the, their exposure to each other. The pilot who first spotted the castaways radioed a nearby Australian Navy ship. This ship sent two helicopters which provided food, water, and medical care. Later, the U.S. Coast Guard arrived to check on the men and deliver a radio. Finally, a Micronesian patrol boat taxied them to their destination. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. The Philippian believers pooled their efforts to support the Apostle Paul. 
Lydia and her family welcomed him into their home. Clement and even Euodia and Syntyche, who didn't get along, all worked directly with the apostles to spread the good news. Later, when Paul was in prison in Rome, the church gathered essentials for a care package and delivered it via Epidotitis. Perhaps most importantly, the Philippians prayed for him throughout his ministry. The examples of believers serving together in this ancient church can inspire us today. Cooperating with fellow believers to pray and serve others as God leads and empowers us accomplishes much more than we could ever do on our own. It has been said, individually, we are one drop. Together, we are an ocean. When have you served well with other believers in Jesus? What's the basis for the spiritual bond you share with them? Dear God, please show me how to join with others who are serving you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.